I'm here in Prague, finally arrived in one of my dream destinations, a place I've vi wanted to visit for a long time. And I'm here with local expert uh, Yitka Simkova, who's the founder of PrageWalks.com, a company that provides expert guided walks uh, through this historic city. And we are on a very, very historic square at the moment, St. Wenceslas Square. Why is it so important in terms of the recent history of Prague? It is so important because the uh, Velvet Revolution has started here, not here, but actually very punctually left from here in the National Avenue. The crowd of the students came from Alberto to National Avenue here to Venture Square. And the Velvet uh, Revolution, just to explain, is when uh, the Czech Republic or the former Czech Czechoslovakia left the former communist dominated Eastern Bloc yes. in 1989. 1989, mm -hmm. exactly. And I remember personally, I had just arrived to Prague. Yes. And I saw what was going on. The trams are not uh, working. And yes. So. so that's where it has started on the 17th of November. And since the 17th of November, the demonstrations took place here for almost two weeks, every day, very intensively. People mm -hmm. didn't work. They okay. just came here and demonstrated. The keys and demonstrated, demonstrated, and demonstrated. Okay. It was a very exciting time. And uh, very few percent of people believed something is really going to happen. Nobody, no nobody thought no. anything was going to happen. In the countryside, the people yes. from Prague, they they understood. Yeah. But people in the countryside, they were really excited. All the TV uh -huh. and all our outstanding personalities came uh, over the balcony right there, mm -hmm. I think, and they were talking to the nation. And the mood uh, generally was very peaceful. Yes. In the contrary, and people were ringing the keys, and all the statue of Wenceslas Square yes. was covered with the posters. Because the first revolution came, as everybody knows, maybe in '68. Mm -hmm. so That's right. Still, Prague Spring. Uh, yeah. Many people remembered Prague Spring, and yes. this time everybody was really persuaded yes. that we will not lose. Exactly. Yes, and we will really change it. That's why. Velvet Revolution, there weren't any... Mm, no altercations, no police action. Nothing, no, there, the police action took only place once and on the 17th. Uh -huh. And since then, they didn't have any power. And, and the, the end result was, from that point forward, uh, this was no longer a communist country, or how would you explain that? No, then uh, another party arrived, Občanské Forum, uh -huh. like People Forum. Uh -huh. And there were many discussions, and uh, since then uh, there was a general strike. Okay. Of people and students uh, strike strike as well. Mm -hmm. But since then, really, uh, people uh, enforced the government to negotiate. Oh, I see. And to change, to change, to mm -hmm. change. You know, so it was the uh, power of people who persuaded the government n no more. Exactly. Even democracy too. Yeah, exactly. So this truly. St. Wenceslas Square in Prague is a very, very important, significant place in the history of the Czech Republic.